all about sixth generation fighter aircraft. At the earliest, sixth generation fighters may crop up in the 2030s or 2040s, by which time concepts in air warfare will likely have evolved yet again. The American development and deployment of fifth generation stealth aircraft like the F 35 Lightning is one of the central stories of today's security zeitgeist. But behind the scenes, Several countries are already looking ahead to the design of a sixth-generation jet. The sixth-generation fighter developers can be divided into two categories, the United States, which has developed and deployed two stealth fighter types, and countries that have skipped or given up on their attempt to build fifth-generation jets. These latter countries have concluded that doing so is so time-consuming and expensive that it makes more sense to focus on tomorrow's technology than try to catch up with today's. This first appeared last month. The latter include France, Germany and the United Kingdom, which are in the preliminary stages of developing sixth-generation Fkas and Tempest fighters, Russia, which has given up on developing its Su-57 stealth fighter for at least a decade, but is talking up a conceptual sixth-generation MiG-41 interceptor, and Japan, which is contemplating a domestic sixth-generation F-3 stealth jet, but may settle for a foreign-inspired fifth-generation design. Currently, the United States has two projects the Air Force's Penetrating Counter-Air, a long long-range stealth fighter to escort stealth bombers and the Navy's FAR-20. So far, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman have unveiled sixth-generation concepts. Furthermore, a third set of countries, notably including India and China, are still refining the technology for the manufacture of fourth- and fifth-generation aircraft. About stealth and beyond visual range missiles are here to stay. The various sixth generation concepts mostly feature many of the same technologies. Two critical characteristics of fifth generation fighters will remain centrally important to the sixth, stealthy airframes and long range missiles. As cost effective ground based air defense systems like the S 400 can now threaten vast swathes of airspace. Stealth aircraft need to be capable of penetrating anti-access slash area denial bubbles and eliminate air defense from a safe distance. Additionally, stealth jets also steeply outperform non-stealth aircraft in aerial war games. Then about awesome X-ray vision pilot helmets. The F-35 has pioneered sophisticated helmet-mounted displays that can see through the airframe for superior situational awareness, display key instrument data, and target missiles via a helmet-mounted sight, although that last technology is as decade old. Though these helmets currently have significant teething issues, they will likely become a standard feature in future fighters, possibly supplanting cockpit instrument panels. Voice-activated command interfaces may also ease the hefty task load expected of fighter pilots. Next. Larger airframes, more efficient engines. As airbases and carriers become more vulnerable to missile attacks, warplanes will need to be able to fly longer distances, and carry more weapons while doing so, which is difficult when a stealth jet must rely solely on internal fuel tanks and weapons loads. The natural solution is a larger plane. As air forces expect within visual range aerial dogfights to be rare and possibly mutually suicidal, they are showing a greater willingness to trade off maneuverability to emphasize high sustainable speeds and a greater payload. About sensor fusion with friendlies on the ground, sea, air and space. One of the F-35's key innovations is its ability to soak up sensor data and share it via data links to friendly forces, creating a composite picture. This could allow a stealth aircraft to ride point and ferret out adversaries, while friendly forces maneuver into advantageous positions and sling missiles from further back without even turning on their radars. Next. About cyber warfare and cyber security. Sensor fusion and optional manning, however, imply that sixth generation jets will rely heavily on data links and networks which could be disrupted by jamming or even invaded through hacking. Ground-based logistics networks, such as the F-35's Alice, 
promise significant improvements in efficiency, but also expose even landed aircraft to potential cyber attack. About Artificial Intelligence One problem is that all of these sensor, communication and weapons systems have become so complex that they threaten to exceed the task processing ability of the human brain, remember, the pilot also has to fly the plane. While some fourth generation jets incorporated a backseat weapon systems officer to help out, fifth generation stealth fighters have all been single seaters. Discuss about directed energy weapons. Swarms of drones, missiles, and even obsolete jet fighters can threaten to oversaturate an advanced stealth jet's offensive and defensive capabilities. One commonly cited countermeasure may be directed energy weapons, DUES, such as lasers or microwaves, which can be fired quickly, precisely and with an eye limitless magazine capacity given sufficient electricity. The US Air Force envisions three categories of airborne DUES, lower powered lasers for disrupting or damaging enemy sensors and seekers, a mid-level tier capable of burning incoming air-to-air -air missiles out of the skies, and high power class capable of destroying aircraft and ground targets. The Air Warfare Branch plans to test an anti-missile laser turret in the early 2020s which may eventually be installed on bombers and F-35S. Sixth generation fighter programs remain strictly conceptual today, especially given the enormous expenses and effort devoted to working out the kinks in the fifth generation. Many of the component technologies such as lasers, cooperative engagement, and unmanned piloting, are already in well under development, but integrating them into a single airframe will still prove a significant challenge. At the earliest, sixth generation fighters may crop up in the 2030s or 2040s, by which time concepts in air warfare will likely have evolved yet again.